Hey guys, how's it going? This is Joe here, uh, coach of the New England Chartriots. And uh, this is the Week 3 Battle versus Terminus Challenger League. This is a post-recap. Um, I wasn't able to uh, play this game live and record live because I was out of town and whatnot. <clears throat> I will go over it a little bit more if you watch my Week 5 uh, battle. But I'm just going to quickly go through the thought process during this game. And let's see how it goes. Oh my god. So, sorry. Y'all didn't hear that, but I did. <laughs> so, for the start off, we have uh, Roots versus x -Cloud. I wasn't sure uh, what he might lead. Um, may I was uh, maybe thinking the Rotom or the Empoleon. But he ended up going with the x -Cloud. So, he went ahead and just boom burst here. And I went for the Sleep Powder. Because... I had no, I had no switching for X Cloud, so I got the sleep off. Rotom Mo comes in, which would have been a better Pokemon for us to face to begin with. We knock off the Scar, get some leftovers damage back. We switch out to Needle King and take a Shadow Ball right to the face, but we are living at 62%. He switches out to Empoleon, and we go for the Flamethrower because you know it would have been good damage on the Rotom. And I didn't expect him to switch. I expected him to maybe Leaf Storm and go for the kill. Uh, we had a chance to live it. I'm not entirely sure if we would have. But uh, Empoleon comes in. We got the Flamethrower off. And I believe we are choice. Oh, no, we're not choice. So we were able to Earth Power kill the Empoleon. So Latias comes in now. And sorry, guys. It's been a few weeks. So <laughs> uh, we have Furby come in to take the hit. Uh, this was our uh, designated answer to Latia. And um, I went for the light screen to, you know, try to get some extra support. But he's just calm mining up. Uh, we Dazzling Gleam to try to chip away at its health. But Leftovers is also being an issue. Uh, so I, I switch. And I predicted the calm mind again and I switch. And I was hoping... Um, if he didn't run a max defensive Latias, like, it's going to be obvious that he did here. We would have O-Code with Swallow. Um, so what I should have done was stayed in with Wigglytuff and just kept chipping away until it got to low enough health. Got in Kamikaze for free and then, you know, click the, click the move. But um, we did not. We do get the burn off the switching. We go for the facade. Brings it down to 8 health. So much. So. So low. But yet not enough. Uh, Kamikaze almost goes down. Gets burn damage. He was able to switch. Go to Exploud. We U-turn. Because, you know, I was just trying to get the uh, heal and pivot. But um, was not able to do that. So Little Wayne comes in on the Exploud. We U-turn to get more pivot. To get uh, Kingdra in. Because now that we have rain up, we really want to abuse it. So we go for the hydro pump, connect, and knock that thing out. So Xcloud got to sleep the whole match after clicking one move. Uh, so Kingdra's still here. Clefable comes in, which I wasn't too worried about because I believe we had a chance to two shot it with hydro pump. So I just click it. Um, so yeah, hydro pump takes it down to 19%. It gets a wish off and i know it's going to protect again but i figured oh i switched because of the protect and it didn't protect it went for the moon blast so kamikaze goes down unfortunately and that was a real big answer to um to latias so that was, that kind of hurt um so given that it was able to waste a few more turns of rain so the Fable's just going to be fat and protect. Gets knocked down to 13% from this Hydro Pump, but hits us hard with a Moonblast. Uh, gets Leftovers health. Ice Beam was enough to take it out. I didn't want to risk the uh, Hydro Pump miss without the rain. So Hippocampus is here. I didn't want to get... I switched out. Sorry, I was thinking something else. 
Uh, Wigglytuff goes in, takes the Psychic. Latias is, I'm assuming, going to calm mind up again. But it actually just recovers, which is probably worse. Um, Dazzling Gleam was able to get some chip on it. And let's see what happens next. Now he goes for the calm mind, knowing uh, it could take multiple uh, hits from Dazzling Gleam. So I decided to go for the Shadow Ball for the special defense chance. And then I switch out thinking he'll calm mind again, but he just recovered. And uh, Lethal Dose here goes for the Sucker Punch, which again, would have taken it out if it wasn't max defensive. But after Kamikaze uh, didn't kill, I should have, I don't know what I was thinking. And I just let it go down. So we get uh, Little Wayne back in. Takes the Psychic, I believe we U-turn. So we get more chip off on it. Kingdra comes back in. And I believe we get a kill here, but due to life orb, uh, we obviously go down. So pretty much all of our pure offensive weapons are gone. Uh, unnecessarily, too. Um, Kingdra comes in. I go Pelipper. And he's scarfed, so I go down to the rock slide. Gets a moxie boost. So I'm just like, he has to be Scarf, right? I go Tangrowth, because I could take Rock, I could take Rock Slide. And this is where I had a chance big time and just threw. Over predicting. So I go ahead and I'm trying to get the sleep powder off. And this is where it really sucks. He missed a rock slide. I mixed the sleep powder. And then I believe he goes for rock slide again. He misses again, but we miss again. Another sleep powder miss. So RNG was just not on either of our sides. And then he goes for rock slide again. We get to go through the para flinch and we actually get to sleep off. And this is where we should have just started attacking. But instead, I go for Wigglytuff. And now he has a chance here. He gets first turn wake up. And rock slides and kills Furby. And that's pretty much what ended our game there. Because if I would have just chipped away at the Heracross, it would have been still locked in. He wouldn't have been able to switch into uh, Latias here. I believe we get the kill with Knockoff, I believe. But yeah, he wouldn't have been able to switch free into Latias. I mean, he might have still sacked it, but he might have... It was just a sleep turns, I guess. But because of that, we are unable to uh, stop this Mega Horn from connecting. Uh, all we can hope for is misses. I go for the sleep. Hopefully he stays asleep, but I doubt he stays asleep for five turns. Um, Earthquake is one of our best hits. I mean, he resisted both, I believe. Knockoff and uh, Earthquake. And even knockoff wasn't going to be enough after you knock off the item. So I was just trying to go for pure damage. Of course, Heracross wakes up. Connect. Oh, he misses. But he wasn't going to miss this next one. So. Uh, this is where I was going to go for Sleep Powder again on the off chance he missed. But he did not miss twice. And Heracross clutched him the game. Alright, guys. Well, that was the week three battle. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'm going to record the fourth battle.